Hello everyone, a quick tutorial here to look at Leap Motion used to configure content on MadMapper. So um, I have quickly set up uh, two quads, uh, each with uh, a different video source. There we go. Let's put it to full screen for now. Uh, I've got my Leap Motion all connected and calibrated and all that kind of jazz. So first thing we need to do is go to uh, Control List. Leap Motion is not a standard controller, so under other, I think it's got PS4 and 3, we also want other ads. And um, let's uh, make sure we select one of these, top one, back to our control list. And all I want to do is as my hand gets near or further away from the infrared sensor, I want the opacity to go up and down. So let's add that. Uh, we've already selected one, so that's selected surface. I mean, you can see how many options you've got here. Opacity, leap motion's really selected, because uh, it's quite clever like that. And, oh, it's um, really picked up my position Y because I was messing around with this earlier. But if you have a look at this, there are loads of different options. There are hand gestures, so you can do something pretty advanced with lots of different settings, as long as you remember what all the uh, magic gestures mean. If you haven't used um, this control before, you've basically got two sort of filters here. Toggle is basically your on and off. So if I turn that on, um, let's see if it'll work now. Yep. So if I put that down, you'll see there's some changing, but when I, it cu then cuts, whilst if I turn them both on, there, and turn this right up, there's a sort of more of a fade in between, or there should be. There we go, there's more of a transition. What you can also do is if you don't actually want it to cut, you can turn that one off. Now I'll show you what difference that makes. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. I'm going to leave this here so you can see what my gestures are actually doing. So you should be able to just fade in and out. This one's basically changing your animation speeds. So that's almost instant. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's no way of changing this to anything slower than one. Oh, there we go. That's working now. So what I can do here is slide my hands, pull us up, slide my hand away, put my hand down, maybe halfway, and then leave it there. So if you wanted to fade in increments, that's pretty cool. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the stuff you can do with this, um, there's a very cool example called Mad Mapper Leap Motion on YouTube by 3 Light Control. And you, you can see through this video, he's controlling a whole light desk just with different gestures. So I'd definitely check that out.